Hello, welcome to SS Unitech Susil Decide, and this is continuation of PySpark tutorial. So, in the previous video of this video series, we have seen about the introduction part of the PySpark and why PySpark is important to use inside the Azure Databricks. So, if you haven't watched that video, I'll provide the link of that video in the description of this video. So today we are going to see about the data frames. So what is the data frame? So before going to jump into the practical session, I would say this is very important to understand about the data frame because here inside the PySpark, everything will be handled by the data frame. So what is data frame? So data frame is a distributed collection of a data organized into the named column. So for example, if you are having some data, so that data should be going to organize into the distributed format as a table so that will be having the columns and the rows next it is conceptually equivalent to a table in a relational database so as i told you it is very similar to the table that we have already seen inside the sql server so that will be having your table name and then the column names and the rows as a data inside the PySpark or the Python or R language that is called as a data frame and it is also an API. So in the simple word, we can say like the data frame is an API. How the data frame will be going to work in the real time. So here we can first understand about the flow, how data will be processed. So for example, first we are having some of the source data and this source data will be on the csv file json file or any other format once we are having this data so first thing come into the picture for reading the data so how we can read the data so for reading the data we are required an api so that api is called as data source api and here we are using the method that is the reader method so in the simple word we can say first we are having the source data we should be going to read that data so for reading that data we are required something so that something is the data source api so this data source api will help us to read the data so once we will be reading the data then we should be keeping that data in some place so that is called as data frame so data frame will come into the picture after reading the data here we have read the data and after reading it we are storing that inside the data frame after storing the data frame we can also create another data frame by using the source data frame that we have seen here so here we can say we are having this data frame one so data frame we can simply understand a table so this table we are having over here and after making some transformation on this table we will be creating another table so for making that transformation we are required data frame api so this data frame api will help us to transform the data so after transforming the data will be loading inside another data frame so here we are having this data frame one that is a table one we can say here after making some changes on that table we are creating table two so that is the again data frame so once we have made all the changes and we are having a final data frame so that data frame should be going to load inside the sync so that sync will come into the picture as an write method so as we are going to load the data or we are going to create any file and dumping the data there so that is the part of the write we are writing something inside the sync so here we are writing this table two into the sync so that sync could be your ORC format or the parquet format or any other file format or we can also dump inside the SSMS. So this is the flow that normally we are following in our upcoming videos and this is the format is very important. So for writing the data into the sync, we are again required some of the API. So that API is data source API as we can see, but we are writing inside the sync so we should be going to use the data frame write method for reading we were using the reader method so here we are using the write method so let's summarize 
we are having some of the source so first we are required to read the data for reading that data we are required some of the api so that is the data source api and after reading it we should be going to store in some of the temporary location so in ssms if you are familiar then you can understand something like the temporary table so here the data frame is very similar to the temporary table we are creating a temporary table or the data frame that is the table one i am calling here and then we are doing some of the transformation on the data that we are having inside the table one so after making that changes we should be going to create another temporary table where we will be having the transform the data that we can see the table two so that is the again data frame so after making all these changes we are going to write that data into the sync so we will be writing this table two data because this is the actual data we need to process and loading into the sync here we have the raw data and this raw data we can see in table one and after processing we are having table two that is the formatted data and this formatted and transformed data will be going to load inside the sync location so i hope guys you have little bit idea about the data frame in the next video we will be going to see how we can utilize this in the real time so we will be seeing how we can create the data frame how we can read the data and how we can write the data everything we will be seeing by next videos thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos see you in the next video